Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look, yeah. Uh, you got the black rims as well. Oh, you're thinking of getting a new car? We're looking you know, at it, you're, yeah. You're just we're looking to Buffalo. I know. You gotta get something local. This looks pretty nice right here, actually. That, that looks really, really yeah. good. I can see you buzzing around town in there. I place. know, I know. Well, what do you like to drive? Like, you, uh, you're a big car guy, apparently. Well, you walked out, everybody's talking about you getting you a know. new car? Like, Well, I'm not a huge car guy, but I, I, I saw this summer, I was looking, a couple summers ago, I was looking for a car. Cause I got to drive. I was driving to Winnipeg at the time. Oh yeah. So I'm like, oh, I got to get a car to drive to Winnipeg. And my wife goes, we're looking at cars, and we decided to get the Escalade just because it's big, self-driving. Self-driving was huge. We did a 17-hour uh, drive in one day. Are you a big? I'm not saying like gambling guy and the gambling side of uh, side of things, but are you a big like? Taking the friendly wager yeah, with oh your buddies yeah, yeah, like yeah. this? Big competition guy. I like okay. Everything to me is a competition. We bet a thing. It was. Uh, it was a fun thing we bet on. It was like for a golf tournament. We had like to choose winners for the golf tournament. The loser had to wear a speedo at his wedding. Ooh! And unfortunately, I lost that bet, and I was jumping in the pool, full speedo at his wedding. No way! Yeah, okay. so it was. Oh, I thought yeah. maybe you had to walk into the reception. No, with the I speedo, wish. I so. wish I had to walk. That would been that would been worse. But I mean, it was it was still bad. I was swimming. I had to be in it for an hour swimming around. Okay. In front of public oh. pool. At least the reception, it's all everybody you know. Well, public pool is a lot of people you don't know. I would say in front of people I don't know would probably be whatever. Like, I true. don't know you, you don't know me. Yeah, I'm yeah, fine. true, true. So, you a big golfer? Big golfer, yeah. Okay. Big golfer. Like, good golfer or love to golf, but uh, whatever happens, happens. So, I've gotten pretty good. I've gotten pretty good. I've also taken some trips golfing like this year. I went to Scotland. Okay. I went to Band Dunes. I've gotten pretty good. I'm down to a four index, so I've gotten oh, pretty. I've wow, gotten okay. pretty good. So you're good. Yeah, I'm no like I'm no Mitzi or anybody like that, but I've gotten pretty good. Uh, you could take him on uh, on a few days here. I'm sure uh, uh, Middlestad's a good golfer, but he has his. Uh, he'd be on the pro tour if he didn't have a, true, a bad day true, or two. True. True. Okay. Well, good. Well, yeah. let's talk a little hockey, because you're the new guy in town, and I love you know your positioning. Obviously, I did that for many years. Um, What's the biggest challenge or difference coming to a new team from where you are? Like, you sign with the Sabres, what's the first thing that came to mind? Like, oh, this is gonna be an adjustment or a challenge or fun challenge, it's something you're looking forward to. I think just, so I've been in Winnipeg for a long time, but I've also yeah. been at different teams as well. So it's more so it's just getting used to the guys, getting used to the communication on the ice. That's the big thing. And just building that trust and that communication, understanding of where they're going to be at certain times of the game, where I, where they're, where they want me to be, where they want me to pass it, and different things like that. Yeah. I remember like either I was in trade rumors or I was maybe going to get traded or I was going to become a free agent. One, the first thing I would do is try to design my equipment, design yeah, my yeah, mask. Yeah, like yeah, I would be yeah. like, ooh, this would be cool. If I was to play yeah. for the St. Louis Blues, I would do this. If I was to play with the Edmonton Oilers, I would do this. Or, you know, when you sign with the Sabres, yeah. like, and now you have a white mask and a blank canvas, did you go right at it designing your gear or did it take some time? So pads, I designed right away. Okay. I'm a big pad guy. Mask, I, for me, I've never been a super artistic mask guy. Okay. I, I've, I've seen your masks. Your masks are always really good. Really I didn't well do done. much. I just but had a good were, artist. Yeah, but, it, but they were well done. <laughs> I would basically tell them, hey, I'm going to play with the Islanders this year and I don't yeah. really know what I'm going to do. And they would come up with a design yeah. and they were really good with that. Yeah. I actually had Dave Art in Sweden do Dave Art, yeah. one for me. Everyone, um, by the way, everyone in the leagues had Dave Arv at least do one. Yeah. Everyone. It took forever. And there, there's the reason why the 06 07 season, I had a white mask the whole year. Oh, yes. Yeah, and people right. were like, yeah, oh, yeah, Marty yeah. was waiting to get traded, didn't want to get his mask no. painted. No, I got one done. It took forever to arrive. So I used a different mask for the start of the season. It was all white. And then when my actually painted mask came in, it was too small. Too small. It just like squeezed oh, my face no. like this. And I played it with two games, two wins. Yep. A 6-5 win and a 5-4 win where even at the end of the second game, the puck was around the crease and Teppo Newman was like, Marty, it's there, cover it. I'm like, I can't see. <laughs> like the mask is squeezing. I couldn't see at my feet or whatnot. So yep. yeah, that was, so you said that was enough. That was it. That was it. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm giving up five goals a game. I'm yeah, not, but I'm not two gonna, and oh though. 
Yeah. Two in a row is tough to beat. So your pads designed them right away. Right You're away. a big wide pad guy big, with a little light uh, little white color. Pad guy. So in juniors, my first year I used Vaughn, and then I switched to Lefave. It was yeah. CCM at the time, and then as soon as Lefave switched to True, I've been with Lefave the whole time. I've gone really close with Pat. Him yeah. and I have a good relationship, and he's been he's been fantastic for me. Built in Canada, so really happy to do that, and really happy with the way they build the gear. It's stiff though. Like, stiff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's not. You went from Vaughn, which is a softer type of pad and juniors, and then to a stiffer. Like I could not wear the, at the time CCM or Reebok yep. uh, because they were too stiff for me. I was more of an old school type guy, but they're pretty stiff. Yeah, but you how long does it take you to break them in? I so for me now, one skate, I'm good to go. Oh one skate is what I feel like that's the best for me. If I get one skate in, I get a, I gotta bend them a little bit because I want the boot to be a little bit flexible. But this top, I want stiff. So you never did the the old. And I had a teammate in juniors that would put his pads under like a piece of plywood and drive over them. No, no, them no, never. So never. in a test drive yeah. like this, we no, could have rolled we over your pad a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be a fan of that. I know. Like Heli back in Winnipeg, same thing. He got his pads to squish right down to the bottom. No way. Yeah, he likes his pads ex extra bendy, extra squishy. Oh, For wow. myself, I've always been stiff. I wanted to be look, look as big and be as stiff as possible. Well, good. Well, yeah. I got you back here safe and We're sound safe, to yeah. the locker room. Did not honk the horn once. No. Nobody yelled or screamed at me. So I feel like I'm good. getting better. And I backed out of here yeah. at the start. Three, so point, three point turn was pretty good. Three point turn was really good. So Cuzzy gave me a nine out of 10 for the test drive, even though I got yeah. punked at a couple of times. What do you give me? I'm giving you 10 out of 10. 10. It was perfect. Speed limit was perfect. I mean, you weren't speeding. It was great. You know what? I didn't offer you water or I didn't ask you if the, the temperature was good. Uber, five star rating. Five star rating. Five star okay. rating. I'm giving a good tip to you in Uber. I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks awesome. a lot. Good Thank luck you. this year. Thank you so much.